So we know that dimensional analysis is important in chemistry, but sometimes when you're doing dimensional analysis, you see some weird conversions. So let's take a look at one of those right now. The question we have is how many meters cubed and 631 centimeters cubed? Well, that's not something you see a whole lot, is the cubed units here. Typically, when you have a conversion from meters to centimeters, you have one meter is equal to 100 centimeters. But once you cube the units, you also have to cube these conversions. So instead of one meter equals 100 centimeters, you have one meter cubed equals 100 cubed centimeters cubed. So let me write that just for clarification. One meter cubed equals 100 cubed centimeters cubed. I write this down just to remind me that I cubed this and I also don't like writing down all those zeros. I'd rather just punch them into my calculator and save the pencil lead. So don't forget to cube whenever you see a cubed unit up here. So now we know our conversion factor so we can just do our dimensional analysis. So 631 centimeters cubed. Don't forget to think about your sig figs. This is three sig figs, so you're going to want to keep that many in your final answer. Times, we use our conversion factor. Remember, you want to cancel out centimeters cubed and move into meters cubed, so you want to put these centimeters cubed on the bottom. So 100 cubed centimeters cubed over 1 meter cubed. Remember that 1 cubed is just 1. So the answer you get from doing this calculation is 6.31 times 10 to the negative 4. Don't forget, if you write this down, this is actually 0 .000631. These three are not significant because you have a 0 here. So remember to keep all three of these. And that's how you do cubed roots and that's how you do cubed conversions in dimensional analysis.